mini. Uh, yeah, it's, the the QBs aren't present now, but you never know. I mean, with this class, there's a couple guys that are going to get an opportunity to um, at least probably be a backup, which sounds not exciting, but on the teams that they're on, they have the opportunity. Mariota with Ritter. Um, that Panthers, I mean, they just named Baker the starter, but I think they named Baker the starter for week one, but or that was rumored. But that can change very quickly. All he's got to do is beat Sam Darnold in a backup competition. And he's been struggling. Sam Howell has a... Oh, my voice just cracked. Sam Howell is also a, a decent name. Jalen Tolbert, orange 125. 145. 45. 49. Man, I can't get my numbers right today. Tony Dorsett, 125. Cowboys, a couple of cards there. Alec Pierce, Colts. I feel like Pickett, if he's really fighting for that starting spot, this class could be a little better than people think. Plus, he's going to get, I feel like he's going to get his opportunity sooner than later. Romeo Dobbs, or. I'm going with Dobbs. Mini. And Patriots. Matt Judon, 1 of 50. Jerome Ford. Yeah. But that might help these boxes. Or th that might make the boxes more relevant later on, right? But by that time, we'll have some NFL products, hopefully. Devin Stingley. Silver rookie. Otto is going to be the last hit, I believe. Barring any unusual findings. Jermaine, er, Jermaine Johnson. 75 on the bronze mini. I mean, we'll see a lot of wide receivers in this class. We might see a lot of teams just... These mid-tier teams are going to be a lot more of them. All right, guys, that'll do it for 2022 Legacy NFL 6-box PYT number 20. Thanks, everyone, for tuning in. Uh, next up is Revolution. I will be setting that up right now. Uh, let's fill up Pop Century as well. Pop Century is coming up. I always go for no reason. I'm starting to notice. I'll get the uh, the teams on or the uh, the random here started in one second. 